Hey everybody, I am Big Angry, and this is uh, XCOM 2 Saturday, Keep Watching the Sky Saturday. Uh, let me uh, unmute, you, unmute real quick in uh, Discord. No, he's not. No one's here. Out real quick. There we go. Um, Pound of Flesh, I uh, co host his stream. I am also a mod for his stream, and um, he is. Uh, quite an incredible guy uh love him to death um not to death but you know let me uh turn off that music and get into xcom why 2. not why not why not love me to death i i need you around you are you are a good oh. person yes yes it's 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 you always hurt the ones we love the most i love you to death Ex that Wait worries me. Uh, let me uh, flip over to uh, XCOM 2 uh, screen. There we go. Alrighty. Turn down the audio just a smidge. And we are going to be loading up uh, Playthrough 1, Episode 2 in the Come on. Okay, there we go. It, w it was about to crash. I know it was. And uh, I wasn't going to let it. I was not going to let it. XCOM 2 is one of those games that uh, sometimes it crashes. Sometimes. But uh, I wasn't going to let it because I, I just have that kind of power. So, Pound, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing okay-ish, I think. All right. I'm I'm just I'm I'm watching cute animal videos right now and uh, hanging out here and cool. Everybody loves cute animal videos except for horrible people. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, let's take a look at where we're at here. Tech resistance communications are done in one day, so that's research. Less than a day, it looks like. All right, so that means that once that is done, I will be able to contact different regions. Um, there is a scannable rookie uh, reward over there. Don't need that. There is one day left on supplies over here, so I'm going to scan that, get that going, and get some more supplies. I only have 52 supplies right now, and that's basically your currency in this game. All right, resistance communications are done. I am going to assign new research right the hell now, because at this juncture, this early in the game, you need to really just uh, put the pedal to the metal with research. Alright, rapid excavation, um, technology breakthrough. And what that does, apparently, is improves... Improvements to our materials handling process will allow the next excavation project to be completed instantly. Hell yes. Let's research that for five days, huh? Yeah. Do we have a... Uh, exposed power coil down there? Okay. Well, let's, let's get an engineer on here. So that we can actually um, get the power coil done afterward. Because the exposed power coil... Uh, slots here take god i don't know like three engineers to uh completely um get work done on and it takes maybe 30 days so if we can get that done immediately then that's a huge boon 
All right, let's take a look at the resistance ring. Supply run for five days. That's good. There's going to be a supply drop in eight days. That's good. Um, uh, tech was working. Um, let's take a look at the soldiers I've got. Let's see, tired for 9 days, 23 days, gravely wounded for Jay, uh, 20 days for Myth, uh, Pound of Flesh is tired for 9 days, um, Art imitates life, um, my Skirmisher is lightly wounded for another 44 hours, um, 8 days is Santana wounded, and Shinga is wounded for 7 days, um, alrighty. Uh, five days on covert action for both, uh, Celia and Herb. By the way, Urban Bohemian, a uh, good friend of mine, um, I, I met him through City of Heroes a long, long time ago, and I don't really want to sound like we're old, but we're old. Um, met him through City of Heroes a very long time ago. He just made Twitch partner. Uh, a couple of days ago, so big congrats to him, and I'm going to shout him out real quick. So sorry, I had to mute myself for a moment there. No worries. Uh, just shouting out Urban Bohemian. Uh, he just made Twitch partner uh, two days ago, so uh, hey. I wanted to uh, just... Shout him out and uh, get him uh, a little bit of traffic from uh, whoever may be out there uh, watching this on uh, Twitch right now or YouTube in the future. Um, or one of my dearest friends. I'm actually a VIP somehow in his channel just because uh, he's a he's a lovely human being. He is uh, and uh, love him to death. Literally love him to death. Yay. Um, anyway, um, moving on, uh, so that is the, uh, soldiers right there, um, so let's see here, oh, there's a, uh, bond level 2 reach between Pound of Flesh and Betty White. Well, of course there would be, I mean, look at her. Right. So let's go back out here. Um, we have comm systems online, so that means I can make contact with the local resistance in East Asia and in West Asia. Um, what I'm going to do is finish out scanning for supplies here and pick up the 60 supplies. Cool, cool. Um, the Avatar project hasn't started yet. Which is both good and bad. So I'm going to actually go make contact with West Asia real quick. 40 right intel. Sure. 40 intel. I have 124 intel. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. So it'll take five to seven days of scanning. Five to seven days. Six days total. All right. That's right in the middle. Sure. Alright. And 81 supplies from the uh, Covert Op. Cool. And uh, gain cohesion. Health is increased by one for Celia Lovey Dovey. Uh, both of them gained XP. Cool. Um, let's assign a new Covert Action. Now this is the strategy layer. This is the overworld strategy layer. Um, the actual um, fighting layer is uh, something that we haven't actually gotten to on tonight's stream yet, but that's okay. Uh, we will relatively soon, believe me. The Chosen are trying to subvert our operations, so any soldiers we send out will be at risk. We can remove some of the dangers with additional support units or resources. Understood. Improve combat intelligence. Yes. I need that done. So, soldier reward hacking plus three. Perfect time to send out a uh, specialist. So I'm going to send my damn self out. Sam Big Angry Black Sworn. Um, hacking is the trademark of any specialist. They have a little uh, gremlin, which is a little type, type of drone thing that goes out and hacks things and... Um, uh, heals people and uh, 
does all sorts of stuff. And um, hacking plus three, any way you can get that hack score up is perfect. Um, optional scientist, negate risk, soldier wounded. Do I have any scientists? I have one scientist. But if I send uh, scientist Maslov out, uh, that's just going to make the... Um, um, research kind of go slower. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send myself out on this one. Actually, what is my... Okay, so I'm at um, orange level. If I do this, that'll send me up to yellow level of uh, intelligence, which is just short of green level, gifted. I need this. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to send myself out. Uh, moderate chance of soldier wounded. I'll take it. Begin action. It'll take... Doesn't say how many days. That's fine. Six days. Six days is acceptable. So, what you need in the early game is engineers. Engineers are your lifeblood. Engineers are the only thing that can uh, clear out um, alien debris in these little pockets here so that you can build things. Um, engineers are... Uh, extremely useful for pretty much every uh, building project. They make things go faster. Um, engineers can be used on resistance ring stuff for um, making it so that uh, it cancels out uh, uh, stuff like soldier wounded, uh, ambushes, whatnot. The more engineers you can find, the better. So, gonna go back out here, gonna make contact with West Asia. And as I'm doing that, rapid excavation completes. Cool. The next excavation project done um, is gonna be instant. And that's hopefully going to be the uh, alien power coil. So, what I need now is resistance radio which is going to allow me to build little radio towers that will um, make the intel cost lower for contacting new regions. Um, it'll make it so that uh, when I contact a new region, uh, the further away it is from my home region, the more the intel cost is going to be. So I can place towers and those act as um, those act as uh, home region stand-ins, basically. So, yeah. Uh oh. Stream is experiencing minor issues. My goodness. Oh my God, my RAM. Okay, stream quality good, experiencing issues, my god. I apologize for the uh, choppiness here. It should not be doing that. Let me close out some of my uh, worst tabs. Yes, I have a browser open. What else do I Game store, why? Okay, sorry about the uh, delay here.
Big apologies. So yes, resistance radio. Turn that shit up. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. So that'll take six days. And it's all a matter of uh kinda managing the days that you have. Aha! That's what I was waiting for. Retaliation mission. This is the big thing that uh, happens once every six weeks or so. Operation Spinning Shriek. Confirm. Let's see what we can do here. All right. All right. Let's see. We've got a ranger in herb. Um, sharpshooter in Betty White. Radical Edward with. Uh, Grenadier, Grenadier in Celia, Grenadier in, uh, he doesn't have a nickname. She doesn't have a nickname, rather. Um, and, uh, Kaylee McAllister is a... Alright, she doesn't have any... These are all squatties. That's bad. Let's see if we can actually get some, um... Okay, corp... Okay. Squatty? Oh my god, this is gonna suck. Well. Let's do the best we can, huh? <laughs> Alright, Zack attack, going in. Three days tired. 26 of 41 will... Um, yeah, he's a, uh, I'm going to unequip the, uh, barracks, just so that I can actually get some, um, medkit, because he's got, uh, medical protocol, so that means that he can actually send little gremlin there over to, uh, heal folks. Um, he's gonna be shaken after this mission, all right. So sorry, I had to keep scooting around. No worries, no worries. That's uh, Pound of Flesh, good uh, good friend, co-host of... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm the co-host of his stream, uh, uh, which is weekdays 6 to midnight Pacific time. Uh, he is uh, sitting in as a co-host on this stream tonight. Uh, let's see, Hashemi, um, I'm going to see if I can throw... Um, 26 of 40 willpower there. Um, is Betty White on this mission? She is, so I'm going to throw uh, Pound of Flesh, your avatar, in there. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you are also going to get a med kit. Um, no, I run self-care. <laughs> All right. So uh, you and uh, Zack Attack are the meds. The medics. Um, Celia is going to be the grenadier along with Radical Edward. Um, uh, Betty White is our sharpshooter and Herb is our ranger. And that looks good to me right now. I'm going to actually give Herb a flashbang just in case there is a, uh, a, uh, an enemy that does mind control. And the fun and I say fun because it's not really fun, but the fun part about this mission is we find out who our initial chosen uh, enemy is in this mission. So let's get it on.
Okay, neutralize all enemy forces and rescue at least six civilians. I can do that. Those circles right there are um, civilians to rescue. Most of them. You'll see what I mean in a few. Alright, rule number one of XCOM 2. Do not, and I mean do not, take cover next to a vehicle. I know it looks like full cover right there. That little uh, full shield, but... Vehicles are explosive. And they will kill you if they blow up. You don't want that. Because you don't come back from being blown up. Alright, there's the sectoid. That's the little bastard that has mind control. Alright, I don't have a good shot at him from here unless I can find my uh, sharpshooter, which is right here. Let's take a look. 55% on the Advent Trooper, or 23 on the Sectoid. That's not going to get the job done. But, I do have teamwork on Pain Train. So I'm going to use that to give uh, Pound of Flesh yet another move. Woohoo! I got them moves like, like, like Jagger. Yeah, you got them moves like Jagger. Because you got a 60% yeah. shot on the Advent Trooper, and that's good enough. Well, it sounded like it was good enough. When in reality, it was not. <laughs> Narrator, it was not. Okay, Herb it has a shotgun, so Herb is... Not anywhere near where he needs to be. So, Herb moves up. Um, let's see. Betty White is going to move right over there. Because she has a much better angle from there for next turn. Um, Radical Edward can't get a decent look anywhere here. So what she's going to do is just move way... Uh, oh, there's a civilian over there. But I don't trust them. I don't trust them, and you will understand why in a few. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Betty White way the hell over here. Move it up. Or, I'm sorry, Radical Edward. And I'm going to move Zack Attack uh, right there with the full cover on the tree and set him to Overwatch, meaning that if anyone moves during his turn... Oh, let's find out which Chosen. It's the Hunter. So many choices. All right, he is immune to melee damage and he gains health when nearby enemies take damage. But... His weaknesses are, he takes increased damage from close range attacks, and he takes increased damage from skirmishers. Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with that, I can deal with that. So little time. Now, the Hunter is kind of famous for doing one thing. He grappling hooks from building to building with no rhyme or reason, and basically wastes his turn, and I am here for that. Okay, mind control resisted, good job. Squad make panic though, because they resisted the mind control. Okay, panicked, too panicked, great. Let's see what we do here. Um, took a shot, didn't hit. And Pain Train takes a shot. Didn't hit. Damn. Zack attack. 
Does five damage, takes him out. Nice. Overwatch works. Alright, now Herb is going to go over here, take cover by this tree, and just slash the hell out of this damn sectoid. Sectoids have a melee vulnerability. So it took six damage because Herb is not um, as... Um, you know... Kind of... Uh, can't think of word but you know um he, he's not as uh kitted out uh as anyone else so what he does is uh not as damaging but yes kitted out that's that's what i was looking for um uh, again disabled streamers sometimes have hard hard harder time finding words um but um he, he's not as kitted out as uh uh higher level rangers so his uh, damage was a bit lower, and that's okay. Oh, I shouldn't have realized. Or I should have realized that was the uh, sharpshooter. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a pathfinder. Pathfinders are really annoying. They have armor. Okay, there's the grapple. Tracking shot mark, okay. So Herb has a tracking shot mark on him. And you see these red tiles here? He has to move out of those red tiles or else he's going to get hit. Hard. So what I like to do in this situation is... Go right about there, just out of the tracking shot. I can handle that. And Hunter is in range. I'm not going to attack him quite yet. But my my sharpshooter has line of sight to him. Because of a little something called squad sight. Pathfinder Hunter, not gonna kill him. 26. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna take out the Sectoid with a 100% shot. Good night. Okay, here is... 5% shot? My god. Let's go for the 43 on the trooper. That's what I like to see. Okay, I don't want to go next to the damn truck. Or SUV, I'm sorry. Okay, where the hell am I? Okay, there's the hunter. Wow, I got... Yeah, they, they didn't call me wrong ray BA in college for a reason. Or for no reason. Uh, alright, I'm gonna go right about there, get some, uh, distance closer to the area that these, uh, enemies are in. And, god, there's no cover over here. No cover charge whatsoever, which is great in a club, but not so much in, uh, XCOM. I'm going to put Zack Attack on uh, Overwatch again, move Pain Train up, put him on Overwatch, just in case something moves where he is, and move uh, Celia forward. Let's see if I can get a uh, explosion going on that car. Get a little damage on the Pathfinder Hunter. Yeah, next turn, that car is going to blow up. Now this is why I don't trust some of those civilians. That right there is a faceless. I need to 
to start rescuing civilians is what I need to do. Uh-oh. What? Right. What the hell just happened? They don't know. That's... Wow, okay. That sucked. I can get the Pathfinder Hunter from here. Shredded one armor, did one damage, and yeah. Okay, that worked out. I'll take the rest of its damage or er, its health from here. Almost. Damn it. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. it is Those are the shapeshifters, yes. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. Missed. Damn it. Wait, why is it alien active? Oh, because he's panicked. Damn it. Okay, how many civilians are left? Herb's gonna get a swack. Hunter's going after XCOM. Okay, Radical Edward is dazed. She needs to be... Okay, Pound of Flesh is back. I've been back. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're, oh. you're no longer panicked. Oh. So that means well, I'm, I, I'm going to stabilize the Zack attack. I'm going to heal herb and let's see here. I'm gonna take out the faceless with a 67% shot, except she missed. How can you miss? Fire in a mist. Fire again. It's the game. I, I do have a hard and fast rule for XCOM that uh, if you miss on a 85% uh, or higher shot, uh, I am obligated to say, that's XCOM, baby. I have a feeling that he's just going to grab Radical Edward and run. Oh, Betty White's dead. No. Yeah, in in game, not not real Betty White. Yeah, he's extracting knowledge from, uh, from Radical Edward. This is just taking a turn for the worse.
Okay, the Pathfinder's finally dead. Did you see that one? Minus one five. Status confirmed. And the Pathfinder was the last one. Okay. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. The Chosen have recovered more information. Oh wow, I did not know that. What's up? Uh, so we talked about how John Saxon had passed away. Yes, from uh, yeah. Enter the Dragon and uh, Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. Street. He apparently lived in the town I moved to California from. Really? If he if he had lived there for more than ten years, there's a possibility I served him at our Olive Garden. Wow. Okay, so that mission didn't go as well as planned. So, Clip, uh, honor her sacrifice, yes. Um, shaken, shaken. There's her and Herb at 9.9% uh, uh, bond. Let's make that a uh, customized poster. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's, that's the ultimate fire team. Celia, Dovey, Lovey, and Herb. Herb gets a promotion. He gets the extra two damage and plus ten aim on the uh, sword attacks. All right. All right, the new Arctic gives me plus 30 supplies in my monthly income. Rest required for uh, pain train. Let's see here. Pain train, shaken 15 days, yeah. A squad is pretty much just out of frickin' commission. Uh, let's see, the skirmisher actually just got uh, promotion. So I'm going to give them uh, probably either Volatile Mix, Grenade Steal plus 2 damage, or Total Combat. Throwing a grenade or using an item no longer ends the turn. Total Combat sounds good. So, 158 supplies currently. No alloys, no Illyrium. Those will come with the supply raid that's on the way, uh, probably next. Ah, yes. The Chosen. The elder. We 
Alrighty then. And just where do you think you're going? If it's a fight you're after, you better bring everything you've got. Alright, making contact with East Asia. Or West Asia. West Asia. Resistance, and we're ready to move on the alien black site on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. Okay, so we have the black site available. We don't want to do it yet because A Squad is just in pieces at this point. But we have it available. Nick! Alright, do we need rookies? Do we need, uh... Yeah, we have supplies and rookies right now. Um, ideally, I'd like supplies, so let's let's head over there. Supply drop right now. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Thank you. Alright, let's take a look here. The Hunter gets a little bit of knowledge. Retribution, a brutal crackdown on the resistance, permanently lowering XCOM's income. Oh well. Alright. A UFO hunts the Avenger at this point? No. And the Chosen are much more likely to appear in combat. Five weeks for the next retaliation strike. That's a ways away. Alright, utilize the resistance. That's good. Facility construction speed is increased by 25%. And any shredding attack from XCOM does an additional plus one shred to the target. Facility construction speed is increased by 25%. Thank you, I will gladly take that. So what is the plot of this game? Alright, so. Um, you failed miserably in XCOM 1. I never even played XCOM 1. <laughs> Basically, um, you... Uh, 
Okay, soldier wounded. Um, you failed miserably in XCOM 1. Uh, you uh, were captured halfway through, and uh, the rest of it was a uh, hallucination. Or, not a hallucination, but a uh, dream that the aliens implanted in you to make you think that you won. Uh, to give you, um, or to make you work in a Matrix-like, uh, simulation for, uh, creating sim uh, scenarios for them. Mm -hmm. The aliens basically, um, uh, utilized you, uh, the giant tactical mind that XCOM had, uh, the commander, um, uh -huh. and basically took over the planet, um, kind of ingratiated themselves with uh, the um, human population, cured diseases and whatnot, and um, tried to make it so that uh, humanity would in, uh, trust them. Mm -hmm. um, and what, it turns out that they're, you know, like processing bodies and whatnot to try and find a cure for um, the disease that is eating away at the DNA of their elders by uh, sequencing the DNA of humans. Um, and to do so, they are uh, processing humans at an alarming rate uh, by uh, taking them from the gene clinics that are meant to uh, heal them, um, and they're never being seen again. So this is kind of like V, then? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay. So basically, XCOM has uh, survived uh, in a guerrilla state um, over the years, and uh, they are going around and um, striking certain places to uh, hit the aliens where it hurts, and then uh, they're um, finding resistance pockets all over the world, and... Um, the last couple missions are basically um, sending out a signal uh, across the world uh, through television and the internet uh, that shows everyone exactly what the aliens have been up to and then um, going to the aliens uh, headquarters under the sea to uh, take out um, their leaders and um, yeah. All right. So again, basically... To the, to the majority of the world, the aliens are... They see them as the good guys and the helpers and, oh my gosh, and why why would you have all these pockets of resistance when they're our friends? Right. But you, but you actually know what's... Okay. Yep. But yeah, I, I, I'm not trying to like call out anything, but it's like, that, that's... Yeah, that's V. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I just yeah. want to make sure. Yep. I would... If this were the type of game that I normally got would get into, I would be all over it because I love the concept of V. Oh yeah. Um, please tell me this that they at least have because it was one of my favorite things in V. Uh, are there members of the alien race who are working on the side of humanity? Yeah, the skirmishers. Okay. Yeah, they are. Um, uh, let's see, twenty-five intel. Yeah, I can swing that. Um, I will show you them right now. Um, they're a faction led by uh, Betos, who is up in the upper right uh, corner right now. Uh, not anymore, but um, let's see. Uh, Armory, View Soldiers. Um, these uh, folks right here, they are uh, Advent Soldiers that are uh, no longer uh, working for Advent. Advent being the uh, security forces of the aliens. Um, Let's see, I can customize head, uh, helmet, hat, skirmisher, uh, none. Right there. Uh, that is what Advent looked like without the helmets. Um, they are uh, created in a lab. Um, and uh, they speak the alien language. Um, and um, basically they revolted. Um, and there's pockets of them all over. And... Um, what happens is um, they are led by, uh, I forget her name, but um, 
she's voiced by uh, Tasha Yar from TNG. Oh, hey. Um, all the uh, leaders of the uh, three factions are uh, voiced by uh, TNG alumni. Oh, hey. There's Q, um, there's Riker, there's Tasha Yar, there's... Um, uh, who else? Um... There's actually one that's uh, voiced by uh, Deanna Troy. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, but um, yeah, they're they're working on the uh, side of uh, XCOM. Cause of course they are. All right, let's see. I'm gonna promote myself. Uh, medical protocol, yes, please. Recruits lack in experience, they make up for in grit. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Do you ever regret leaving the city? Two days till resistance. Radio is done. Really Supply drop last day. The there we go. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. So I have 413 supplies right now. That is a good number. Back down here to get more supplies, even though I should probably be contacting uh, Eastern Asia, which I think I'll do right now. Make contact with Eastern Asia for 40. Intel. Um, the more I can actually get, um, the better. Okay, resistance radio is done. So assign new research. Radio relay is available. Alien biotech is inspired. That means that it takes less time. So one day for that. That'll be done lickety split. And boom, it's done. Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War game. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. The advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for this... All right, I can make an infirmary now. The implanted chip is that kind of, kind of shocks me that this game is still sixty dollars after four years. Uh, it's a triple A game, but yeah, you're right. I do have a uh, code for it if you'd like. Uh, I don't know because I've got enough on my plate. It's not that I true am not interested. It's just I'd rather that code go to someone who will definitely play it. Gotcha. All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Experimental weapons? No. Um, play the Dharma. Can't do that. Um, let's go with the Advent Officer, officer Autopsy. Okay. And let's go to Engineering Build Facilities. Um... Eight days left on clearing machinery, but 
I can actually make a, an infirmary here. 18 days, of course. Here we go, guerrilla missions. Our next operation will put us right in the middle of And XCOM uh, launches a UFO to hunt, hunt XCOM. Uh, so, Advent launches a UFO to hunt XCOM. I have no other option because that needs to be taken out immediately. Okay, hack the hidden resistance computer. I get a scientist from it. Let's see what the other one would have been. 182 supplies chosen are much more likely to appear in combat. Yeah, I, I need the uh, I need this one done immediately. Setting course for West Asia. And I hate that this is the only option I have. Commander, you should be aware we're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Okay. Alright, I don't actually have any, uh, I don't have any, uh, specialists, so I'm gonna hack the thing the old-fashioned way, I guess. This is pretty much all I've got left. Jeez. Alright, well, two people get medkits and uh, one gets a flashbang. Oh, I almost forgot. That is for uh, Betty Clip White. Uh, the death counter is up to one. Oh no! May she rest in peace. She was a Betty White, not the Betty White. Still. Okay, there is the access point right there. Roger that. Getting it done. Just basically gonna move everyone over. Got it covered. Go, go, go.
That's right. There's the lost on this mission. Who? Zombies. Ah. Uh. All right, stun lancer down with one. Selected, uh, down with the other. And I can't get across because I took too long. Or I, I, I used the action that uh, Santana had. Oh well. Wait, I can zip line up. Now in range. Ah, there's some lost. Core, nice. Seems doable. On Overwatch. Now the thing about Lost is you can't use explosives with them uh oh if you do a whole bunch of them show up and swarm you oh they're drawn to the sound of explosives oh it gets bad But I mean, like, uh, grenades or anything like that, not just, uh, guns. I can handle that. Yeah, I didn't get it. Damn. Who? I missed.
Didn't miss there. Oh, great. Holy Warrior on a Pathfinder. Fun fact, if you uh, have a Advent Priest that's got Holy Warrior on someone, and you kill the Advent Priest, the Holy Warrior dies as well. As evidence there. There's a game you might like. Uh huh. Let me see if I can find it. Have you heard of Mutants Year Zero? Yes. I know next to nothing about it, but I've heard of it. Shinga! You could have hit that. She completely whiffed on a sword attack. There we go. Mubu. Mubu with the snipe. Hey, Sam. Yeah. You want to feel old? Okay. I'm going to send you a picture of a person, and I want you to figure out if you know who they are. And I'm telling you right now, you have seen them before. Okay. So, sending this to you. 
uh, on a private message. Uh, just need to see where, okay. Mm-hmm. Are you ready to feel really, really old? Are you sharing this on stream? Okay, one second. Let me oh, tab back over. I've been, my left knee has been bothering me like really bad all day. All right, give me just a second. There's the original. I, I, I also want to know, like... Is this still the style, or is he, like, doing that vintage 90s teen look? Because I feel called out. And that's him before. Wow. feel old i do yeah you want to you want to really feel old not just, after just, that just, okay so uh or i you want to say like you want to know how ridiculous it is to feel old to that the picture was taken in only 2007 oh my god like Yeah. Like, yeah. In in three years' time, Success Kid will be able to drive. Wow. Two, two you know, like, like two, three years. <sighs> two years after that, the song Single Ladies will be able to drive. Oh my God. And remember, I believe it was stated that fifteen years is the acceptable amount of time to pass between a song coming out being a hit and a, and a famous cover happening. And we're oh. almost ready for that with single ladies. Oh no. Because like, what was it? Uh, uh, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This by Eurythmics was like, what, 86, 87? And then 10 years pass, and then we had the Marilyn Manson cover, and people are like, oh, I, you know, like, no, that, that's been more than enough time for that cover. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Less time has passed from single ladies to now. Wow. Or I should say, more time has passed from single ladies to now than between those two covers. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just... It, it's... it's. God, this is just a... It blows the, the mind. The passage of time is a weird and fickle thing. Especially since this year has taken 15 years. Yeah. Like, not gonna lie, like, I, I realize, like, just in the last couple years... I look like I've aged 10. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like it, too. Like, I had such a baby face. And now people are like, yeah, you're definitely in your 40s. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, I was in, like, when I was in my early 30s, people legit thought I was still 22. Yep. And it's like, I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, nope, you're definitely middle-aged now. Like, like on a on my bad days and on her good days, my mom looks younger than me. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get uh, Lexi not, Alexander, uh, Dasha, uh, let's get... Uh, I'm not. I'm not like overdoing your channel, am I? I don't. No, it's so. fine. It's fine. Let's get Tajenko. Let's get Mura. Let's get uh, Line Noise. Let's get uh, Painbow Dash. That sounds good for right Painbow now. Painbow Dash. Yep. All right, because I was out. I was just freaking out of soldiers. I did not have enough to feel the mission. Oh. All right, let's see here. I have two days left on the officer autopsy, seven days left on clearing alien machinery, 16 days left on the uh, infirmary, five days on combat preparedness. Yay. Uh, let's see, you got some promotions to go with here, uh, Pound of Flesh gets revival protocol, uh, let's see... Kaylee McAllister is on the mission, so I can't level her up. Um, all right. I think that is a good spot to save. Yay. And uh, with that, uh, for uh, Pound of Flesh, whose show you can catch uh, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to midnight, uh, I am on there as well at uh, twitch.tv slash pound of flesh with a zero for the O and of. And uh, until uh, tomorrow night, probably, um, I am Big Angry, and uh, thank you for watching Big Angry Plays. Um, I will be back next time. Until then, keep watching the skies. Um, let's actually Yay. find out if there's anyone online to raid. Uh, let's take a look real quick. Um. All right, it is not showing me anyone right now. Uh, next is on, um, Beautiful Zombie, Triforce Triumph, Black Widow Geek. Let's go with Black Widow Geek. Okay. Alright, so... Until next time, keep watching the skies. Thank you all for watching. 
I will be back next time. Uh, you can catch me online on YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash way too late TV and twitch.tv slash big angry. Good night, everybody. Oops.